Hello everyone and welcome. I am Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps. You are joining me for Paper Crafting Playdate. This is actually episode 40. Today is November 19th, 2021, and I am so glad that you are here. I go live on my Facebook page, Really Robin Stamps, every Friday around 1 p.m. Central Time. But if you are watching this on the replay on YouTube later, I am just so happy you're here as well and ready to learn something new about paper and making cards, basically. So today's project is um, focusing on the inside of the card and how we can make it a little extra special. So I'm really excited to show you these really super fun folds. So let's flip the camera around and get started. Hello, welcome. So I don't always focus on the inside of the card, but that is exactly what we're gonna do today. All right, so before I show you, I've got some super fun mail to show you to see your cards. This card, isn't this pretty? It's so beautifully fall. This is from my friend Jill, and she made me a beautiful Thanksgiving card, all pretty and yellow. I just love that. Thank you so much, Jill. And then, okay, sorry, I'm trying to share my video and I can't do two things at one time, apparently. All right, there we go. All right, so, and this card is from my friend Judy, and she made me this beautiful five by seven card. I just love that. And I love how she used this um, foiled paper here and then created this little border on the side. It's just so pretty. Thank you, Judy. This is actually a birthday card because that's happening next week. And then this is from my friend Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Look at this gorgeous piece of artwork right here. She's got such a beautiful background. You're going to have to show me what you did here, Lynn. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We've got vellum and it's kind of shimmery and it's embossed. It's just gorgeous. Thank you so much for this amazing Thanksgiving card. I'm feeling very blessed today. Thank you. Hi, Carol. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Nydia. Awesome. The gang's all here. Hi, Lisa. Wonderful. All right, let me zoom in. And we'll get started here. All right, so I said today we're going to be talking about the inside of cards and how we can make them a little extra special. So let me just review just some of the basics here, right? Uh, Lynn says it's vellum embossed and smooth, smooth ink on the back. Do you mean smooch, smooching ink on the back? Oh, it's so pretty, Lynn. I just love it. So let's just review a couple basics, all right? <clears throat> so um, when you're making cards, right? And this is like the US size cardstock here. You can either cut your cardstock on the long edge at five and a half to get two cards. And that would be like that, right? Or you can cut your cardstock on the short side of the eight and a half by 11 at four and a quarter and you can get two cards that way, all right? So these are A2 invitation size cards. And no matter how you cut it, whether you cut it um, the long way or the short way, you get the same size card. They just have a different um, feel to them for how they open. But either one of these versions can be horizontal um, cards or they can be vertical cards or the portrait style, okay? So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to make cards within cards. So that's gonna require us to make another card that's gonna go on the inside. And so what you want to have basically is a trimmed card, okay? So I'm showing you this here. So here's the inside. These are just my uh, sample cards here, okay? 
So to make a card that will fit on the inside of a card, you want a piece that's trimmed, right? So four by 10 and a half to make this long kind of panel card for the inside, or five and a fourth by eight to make this kind of regular size, like the shorter, wider one, okay? So I'm gonna leave those out for just a second so you can kind of wrap your head around that. We'll put this to the side. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is make a card within a card with two just basic, you know, um, regular size card bases, but this one's trimmed. So I'm using soft suede and basic white. I'm gonna move this up a little bit here. Give me some more room. Happy Friday, if you're watching this on Friday. Today is a beautiful fall day, kind of chilly, but it's kind of nice. All right, so let me just show you what I'm doing here. So here's a regular card base, how it would open. We're gonna put another card inside in the opposite direction. So it almost makes like a faux trifold card when you do this, because you're gonna have an extra flap. But it's kind of a neat, concept very simple like it's just your very very simplest kind of fun fold and one of the things that's great about um, adding an extra card within a card is that you can kind of extend your artwork um, from the front to the middle to the inside you can also um, it, so it kind of like tells a story so that's what we're going to do with this first first um, card that we're going to make here and I'm going to make it with this Nuts About Squirrel stamp set. And we're going to use every single piece in this stamp set to make this card. So let's start. I'm going to mount this on the front. So we're going to decorate this first. All right. So let's get busy here. I'm going to need a lot of ink pads. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stamp this little branch. This stamp set is so cute. And we're just gonna make it going off the edge of the cardstock like that. And that'll give our squirrel a place to sit. This set has two little two-step squirrels and they are so cute. My friend Diane let me borrow this stamp set because I didn't have it. Although now that I've played with it today, I feel like, hmm, I feel like I must need it. All right, so I'm gonna ink up the outline first and I'm gonna stamp him right on the branch, which is very easy to do with our see-through stamps, right? We like them. And then we're gonna take the solid image and we're going to fill him in with some soft suede because that is my card base color. So Nydia, do you have this stamp set? You said you like it. Do you have this one? So I'm gonna just line him up. Like that. Look at that cute little face. He's kind of cheeky, right? And then we'll put some leaves on this branch. Like that. All right, so we're just creating a little scene here. And then we're gonna build on it on the inside of the card. That's, that's the cool thing. So I'm going to add just a little piece of designer series paper. To bring in a bunch of colors. Like that. And then we're going to put this on a piece of cinnamon cider. I don't think I got enough adhesive right there. Hold on. There we go. So this stamp set is one of the ones that is going to carry over and still be available 
after the August to December mini catalog is all done. So currently we're using this, we are in the middle of, oh, we're not in the middle. We're at the end of this catalog that looks like this, July to December, even though it started in August. And here's the little squirrel set. So I got him circled in pink because he is carrying over, which means even when this catalog ends, um, you will still be able to get um, this stamp set online. So there's about 30 things that are carrying over and um, we just found out what they were this week. So that is exciting to know what we still can use. All right, so this is gonna be the front and we just need to put a little greeting. So again, I'm gonna use every single piece in the stamp set. So we'll put a little hay there on the front because he kind of looks like he's, uh, that looks like exactly what he's saying. Hey there. And we'll just add this to the front. Like that, I think I got a little adhesive over here. Hold on, just take that off. All right, so let's put this on the card base and then we'll continue on the inside. So this card is really just kind of showing you, um, you know, what's kind of cool about, <laughs> look how crooked that is. Let me try that again, oh my goodness. Um, What's kind of neat about having a card inside a card is that you can just really kind of continue your whole little um, message, whether it's the pictures or whether it's the greeting or both. You can carry it from the inside to the middle. There, that looks better. All right, so there's the front and we'll just give him just a couple little dots here. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to work on the inside. So before I put it together, we're going to add a few more branches up here. Just flip that around. So I'm stamping it this way because remember I want it to open opposite of the front. And then we'll add some more leaves. So this will look like he's uh, on a tree or nearby a tree. There, lots of little leaves. So we're gonna stamp the other squirrel. And this one is holding a cute little acorn. Now I realize he's hanging out there right in midair, but just stick with me here. You'll see what I'm doing. So we'll also fill him in with the solid image in soft suede. That is so much fun. It's like coloring. And then I'm gonna bring in these two browns so that we can do the pieces that are for the acorn. And so we'll do the top of the acorn in cinnamon cider. And we'll do the rounded part in crumb cake. So we've got that cute little acorn there. All right, so we need another greeting. So the reason I put him out in midair is I'm gonna have him actually just sitting on the greeting. Like that. Again, we're just kind of continuing the story here. And then on the inside, 
we'll put the rest of the greetings, which are happy birthday and hope you're feeling bright and bushy-tailed. There we go. I think we did it. We used every piece. I love that. All right, so now we're gonna put this inside of this card. And so we're gonna put adhesive on this side here. All right, so that's kind of what I mean about this little process of adding a card within a card is that you get to just kind of tell a little story. So you've got, you know, hey there, nuts about you. Happy birthday, hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. So it gives just a little bit of interaction to your card, right? A little extra step. This is a great place right here that you could put a gift card um, inside or you could put a piece of um, designer series paper or you could also decorate some more so you've got just more space um, but yet it's still a very simple card right all right so that is the first example so again I used a trimmed half sheet and then a regular card base all right let's close up all these beautiful brown colors you guys like that one? Oh, thanks, Carol. Thanks, Lynn. He's cute, right? I really thought I was going to be able to live without him in my life, but um, I'm really glad Diane let me borrow this so that I could play with him because he's just, he's so cute. He's really cute. All righty. So now I want to show you how to do the same kind of thing but we're gonna add a window feature to make it a little more interesting. So I thought it would be fun to use the Eden's Garden paper. Ever Eden is the name of the paper, but the suite is Eden's Garden. And let me just show you this again. It's just really pretty. Remember, this is the paper that is just available um, while supplies last here before the next mini catalog starts. And it's got three colors in it. It has soft succulent, evening evergreen, um, and gold foil. And it's just, oop, I got two of the same ones here. I've already used so many of these. Here's the other side here. They're just beautiful. I've actually used up all of one, so... That's how much I'm enjoying it. So now I'm gonna bring in, we're gonna make kind of like two cards in one and I'll show you what I show you what I mean. So we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna put, so I'm gonna make one card, the long and narrow, but I'm gonna put the insert that is short and wide. And then we're gonna do the regular card base with the long and narrow insert. I'm gonna use a couple pieces of designer series paper. We're gonna make a window out of the um the stitched rectangle so let's bring in the cut and emboss machine here and we're going to start with this card here so this is an evening evergreen card base and i'm going to just cut a window in the front with the stitched rectangle. So you can make a window in the front of a card base um, with anything. You can use a punch. You can actually just cut one with your um, paper cutter. I'm gonna turn it this way. Or you can use a die of any kind. All right, so we've got our window. So 
I'm going to punch that out. We're actually going to use this on the second card. So we're kind of doing a two and one here. Then we're going to take and cut a window in the second card. So remember, this is a panel card. And I'm going to ha have um, designer series paper on this card. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this rectangle shape at the same time with both pieces of paper. So I'm going to line that up and then add the rectangle die. These are the stitched rectangles. Window cards are just so much fun, aren't they? All right, so now this leaves me with this nice little frame and then another little stitched rectangle and then a card that has another window in it. All right, so we're, we're gonna just cut our pieces here and then we're gonna assemble. So then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece of this designer series paper and I'm gonna use these beautiful dies that come in the Eden's Garden. And we're just gonna cut a bunch to use on our cards. So these are really sized very nicely because I can actually cut all of these three that I'm gonna use at the same time. So I'm gonna cut them all at the same time. And I'll show you how this turns out here. Put that away. All right, so we've got those pieces. These are the leftovers here. And let's just uh, give that a little bang and this will pop right out here. And then we've got, I might need my little tool for this one. This cute little leaf sprig is my favorite. It's just so pretty. All right, so those are the pieces we're gonna use on our card, cards. And we'll throw these away. Doesn't this, this one, when I cut this out like this, this reminds me of like a, like a shark mouth or something. I don't know, it's kind of silly looking, but I almost kind of want to keep it. It looks like a, like a Halloween frame or something. I don't know. That's my imagination working. All right, so we've got two card bases with our rectangles in them. So this one's going to have this frame. I see that I did not get it very straight. That's okay, we'll trim that off a little bit. And then I'm gonna add this here. And then we've got our inserts. So I'm gonna put this one in here. and this one in here. So you can kind of see how this is gonna to come together. All right, so let's focus on this one first. And we're going to take this beautiful little frame and we're gonna put that right around the outside. First thing. Come on, glue, we need you. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna mount this first. Like that, wipe the glue away here. 
and then we're going to put this on the inside. getting sticky everywhere today. Must be a good crafting day. Look, my fingers are inky too. All right. I see my glue problem right here. There we go. So I'm going to stamp a little picture here with the stamp set. So I'm going to bring in the Evening Evergreen and this beautiful image. And I'm just going to center that right in the center here so it'll show. Isn't that beautiful? That distinctive image is just gorgeous. And then we'll put our greeting underneath like that. So that will show through the window. And then when they lift up the card, then we've got our inside greeting too. So it says, dear friend, my heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. I love that. Hi, Jana. Welcome. So because we're focusing on the inside, let's just do a little quick little stamping on the inside. We'll take one of these beautiful leaves and we'll just do a couple of those over there to make it extra pretty. All right, so very simple with the window and then you've got this little extra little card. Now, of course, you could have it open this way, but I just wanted you to see how it kind of makes it interesting by opening kind of in the opposite direction. And we'll just add a little bit of embellishment to the front and put in some of the Evening Evergreen ribbon. Up in the corner here. And then some of our beautiful little embellishments. These are the best thing in the suite. These garden gems, I love them. They're just beautiful. And they're perfect because you see how there's all these little, little, um, little berries that poke out of this frame here. You can just take some of these and put them on those little berries and it looks so cute. We'll do three of those like that. So I just kind of gave it a little, little bit of sparkle there, right? All right, so that's card number one. So let's bring back this one and finish this card. So we're gonna mount this frame on the card front. This is just going to go right over that window that we cut out. And then we're going to have this. So this one's going to open like this and then like that. So before we insert this, let's just do a little frame around it with one of the background leaves. And we'll just make this leaf go all the way around. Oh my goodness, I just stuck that in some glue. Today must be my messy day. All right, so we just made a little frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here and that's gonna peek through the window Now let's just go ahead and attach this since it's sticky anyway. 
Hello, Pat. How are you? Thank you. Happy Friday. So when you want to make sure that this is going to open, you want to insert that from the front, right? And then close the card. But we're going to pop this up just for something different. So I'm going to put some dimensionals. Hey, Margie. Yes, I can see your comments. Yay, you found me. How exciting. All right, so this is popped up. So I'll just put it right back there. And now that'll be popped up like that. How fun is that? I'm gonna have to get out the cleaner when I'm done here. Everything is sticky. All right, <laughs> so let's make our focal point. I just cut out a little um, die because I wanted to put the sending hugs sentiment on here. And then we'll use this other little leaf and we'll just put that right there. That'll be our little focal point accent. Let's see, do I want it this way? I want it that way. Now the one thing I love about these gems is that these little ovals are the same size as these leaves. So you can lay them right on top of the little leaf there to accent. Be more putty here. So we're gonna put three of those on there. Isn't that pretty? And then we'll put this right in the middle. All right, see how that's coming together? The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little piece here and we're just gonna cut it apart and we'll just add it as a little layer on the front to make it a little extra pretty like that. I'm just going to cut it in the corner like that and then we'll add it onto the front. I'm going to be smart and I'm going to put a little bit of glue here instead of on this and then perhaps I won't make such a mess. We'll see. We'll see. So that's just going to hang over the window. There. We'll let that sit for just a second. All right, kind of see my thinking here with, with the card within a card kind of idea, I hope. It just kind of adds a little extra something and gives you that opportunity to kind of extend your um, artwork or extend your greeting or both so that oh, look I smeared it oh how nice <laughs> I will have to adjust that so here is the finished card like that oops we forgot our inside greeting so sending hugs and then we'll put this let's celebrate everything Okay, I have a couple other samples to show you of window cards with the insert. So there's those two. 
and I still have a couple extra pieces to make, you know, another card. So that's the fun thing with these two. This would be really cute to just lay on a card front with a quick, quick greeting. All right, so let me show you. What you can do with a punch so let's say you don't have any dies but you have a punch you can make a punch shape in the front of your card as well and then punch out something in that same card right so here is an example of a card within a card where it is um, not white on the inside it's a cherry cobbler insert okay um, again you can kind of just build your message North Pole delivery, Christmas cheer, and then Merry Christmas. And here's the gift card. So the little, you know, punch shape just pops right through where you punched it. So that's another idea if you don't have dies. <clears throat> but then I wanted to play with these birds and branches um, because there's this beautiful beautiful little circle die in here that creates a beautiful little window and so I made the window out of that die and then made that card there it's kind of just a nice little surprise for the person that you're sending it to right you get to put a few greetings together <clears throat> Get to add a little bit extra and then I wanted to try it with the these picture this dies and so I used this circle one and I paired it with this dress to impress so much fun I had to get this out again and so there is my windows and then I just cut out those circles again in white and inserted them there and so this is just kind of the horizontal, you know, version of same, you know, same kind of deal. Like, again, it's almost like a faux trifold, right? When you have that going on. But it just, it adds a little extra, a little extra something. All right, what do you think so far? What do you think? So I've got one more design to show you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So when you talk about your basic card designs, um, there is a fold. Okay, we're just gonna set those aside for just a second. There's a fold called a Z fold. And a Z fold, all that is, Jonna, thank you so much. Hi, Paula. So regular card, if you fold the front flap back like that and score it, then you've got, see how that makes a Z? This is a Z fold. And a lot of times, you know, you mount something else on here. It's just another fun way to open your card. So that's the portrait version. And then this is the landscape version. Okay. So basically it's just a regular card, but you fold that front back. So that's a Z fold. So I thought it would be fun to do an insert that is a Z fold and it, it works the exact same way. So you take your trimmed piece and you, you end up folding it back in half. So let's, so here's an example of the insert. So it looks like this and then you pull it back like that. So I've already cut a window in this card here using this label shape. So I'll show you where these are from. So I'm using this set of dies right here. This is the Christmas season bundle. 
So you get not only all of these dies to do all these fun foliage pieces, but you also have these labels. And so I went ahead and you can see they're in pink. So that means that they are carrying over as well. So this paper, this is the only paper that's carrying over. And these bundles are going to be available for the rest uh, for another six months, essentially. So that is super exciting. So I took the die and I already cut the window out of that. All right, so let's make a background on this. And so we'll take our garden green with one of the images, little leaf image, and we're just going to kind of enhance that frame again by stamping tone on tone. So I'm making sure I'm going off, sometimes not re-inking. Like that, so just a quick little frame. And then I'm just gonna give it a little shadow with the, um, blending brush by kind of going around the edges. Like that. Just kind of gives it a nice little shadow. And here's our insert. So we're going to put a card in like this. So it's basically that trimmed insert, but then I scored it in half on the front which is at two inches, because this is five and a fourth by eight. And so this is gonna make it open like this. So this is the Z, right, the Z fold. So to make it pretty, we're going to add some designer series paper here. I'm just gonna cover that one side of this insert. So it'll be like that. Okay, we'll put this inside our card. I picked out this lighter green here, which is uh, Pear Pizzazz, and I went ahead and already embossed this greeting on here. Because that's gonna go right there. That's pretty together. Okay, so what you do to attach this is you wanna just keep it closed and then add your glue on this part here, just on half. Sorry, let me get that more in the camera. And then put this right back into the window. I must have stamped this on the wrong side. All right, so when you open the card, it's going to pull like that. So it, mine's not lining up exactly, and I think when I cut this out of the other color, I probably twisted it, or I turned it around when I embossed it. I didn't pay attention. So it's not quite lining up exactly, but if you pay attention, um, yours would line up better. So let's add a couple little embellishments here just to make it pretty. I already just cut out one of the little berries. And then I stamped this extra greeting here, which I'm gonna just attach to the front so it'll kind of hang over, but then it'll just be on the front. So I'm only gonna put a tiny bit of glue. Right there. Okay. 
and then we'll add a little a little bit of linen thread here. I think these fun cards um, with the inserts, you know, they make great um, birthday cards. I mean, that's usually a time when you really want to share with somebody, you know, how much they mean to you or anniversary cards. something to celebrate, right? I wouldn't make my Christmas cards like this because that would be that would be a lot. All right, so we've got our greetings on the front and then their pull out piece here. And so we just need our inside greeting. like that. So that is the way to do the insert where you've got this little Z fold part. I think that turned out pretty cute. Obviously, I would like it better if it lined up, but you know what? <laughs> it's a craft. It doesn't always work out perfectly. And that's okay. And that's okay. Let's bring in these cards again. So you can see everything that we covered today. And then you can let me know if you've got a favorite, which one you like the best. And then I, I really hope that you um, give this a try and make a little insert. Here is our cute little squirrel. This is still my favorite, I think. I still really love that one. And this one. So this is a card within a card. Simple, easy, but fun. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes, Sue, the imperfections add to its charm. Thank you for saying that. That's very true. It's very true. It makes it special and one of a kind. So that is kind of uh, why you're into this hobby anyway, right? You want to make one of the kind special cards for the people that you love. Carol, the squirrel's your favorite. Awesome. Jonna, thank you. Love them all. You guys are wonderful. I'll have a PDF on my blog later this afternoon, as always, so you can have some directions for putting the inserts inside your cards. And yeah, thank you so much for being here and watching and learning something new. I hope you get busy and do some stamping. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.